sudden streaming is becoming really popular among these big tech giants. You got Microsoft, Zoom, uh, other tech giants uh, that are trying to get into the streaming game, offering webcasting solutions that uh, maybe build off uh, traditional UC platforms. Uh, how can uh, how can the the, the chugging train of, of media platform uh, compete in such a such an environment uh, in, in amongst the battle of the titans? It's a great question. It's a, you know something I'm thinking about all the time. But I, I I think it's built upon the wrong premise, which is that those companies are trying to innovate in our direction, that they want to get into the EVP space. They want to have really high touch, high support burden relationships with their customers. And in addition to the hundreds and hundreds of millions of licenses that they're able to get on things like Teams and Zoom, they want our licenses. Uh, I would say that, you know, as you look at their roadmaps, and I can't speak for them, you know, specifically, but what I sense is that A, they're competing amongst each other, and, and those are pretty sizable competitors, and B, they're really steering towards, again, automation, ease of use, the things that are lowering the bar on enabling users to create content and, and to create communications. Um, again, contrastingly, I don't think that automation brings them any closer to our space. Undeniably, it is innovation. Undeniably, things like AI are innovative and will help a very large universe of communicators out there. At the same time, our users will largely feel that some of those innovations will handcuff them, will take away some of their creative control, will make decisions on their behalf. And so, whereas it may seem logical to say one video solution must compete against another, it's a little bit like saying, you know, a sedan is going to compete against a rugged off road vehicle. Um, I don't think you're going to sell as many off-road vehicles, but they're purpose-built. And if you have a landscaping business, you don't want to be strapping your riding more to your sedan. And, and I was just going to quickly add one, one thing um, to the sort of meeting space that maybe is assumed to, to be migrating towards the EVP space, is I think what you'll find reveals itself over the next 12 months is rather than being competitive silos, uh, they're actually very synergistic. And I think what will reveal itself is that these two solutions should, and these two budgets should not be viewed as competitive uh, or as binary. And that just as we evidence with our partnerships with companies like Microsoft, you know, we can provide that high touch that a lot of their customers want. We can offload a lot of the support burden that maybe they don't want to be burdened with. Uh, and, and so as we look at the Microsoft ECDN or integrating with Teams or using both of those solutions as sources and delivery mechanisms for large live webcasts, there's a lot of room for, you know, pushing the envelope by looking at things cooperatively or collaboratively.